Hello everybody and welcome back to another Saints game day and we have a nice little double feature on display for you today. ECAC Fortnite and ECAC Team Fight Tactics. I'm your host for today, Matthias, also known as Mothize, and I'm joined by Gabe Blockby. Hello, uh, so yeah, League of Legends was an FF, so we only have Team Fight Tactics and Fortnite today. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit calmer. Usually, Fortnite uh, it does have a little bit of action more towards the later game. Uh, actually, I, I think both games have a lot of action in the late yeah. game, but in the early game, it's kind of like, all right, I'm 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 flying in, boys, or it's okay. Look, I'm fighting NPCs. Ah, uh, uh, yes, much fun. <laughs> Yeah, much like the storm of Fortnite, there's always a calm before the storm. Get geared up, get your plan ready, get your team going in both games, and then there's a big showdown right near the end. And just to do a little bit of a re review of what's new in both games, I'm more on the Fortnite side of things, so I can talk about that a little bit. <laughs> I believe what we've entered over the course of this season, the Greek gods, Greek mythology type season. So there's a lot of new things on okay. in store in this season. There's new medallions, which grant you new abilities, like one's a dash, one gives you lifesteal, uh, and I think there's a few others with very powerful abilities. And then there was also wings, but I think wings are banned in competitive play because they were wings. so... Strong, like, like wings chicken of, wings, like wings of Icarus that you can fly up into the sky. But if you fly, oh, too so long, they brought planes they back. Got it. <laughs> no, no, they're better because it's just an item you can wear on your back. And oh, you're okay. crashing down. It's also a weapon. It's it's crazy. But I don't know if we'll be seeing that today. But there's lots of changes <laughs> on the Fortnite side of thing. And as for TFT, we're still rocking with the same season that we've yep. been seeing. Uh, it's Link. <laughs> but interestingly enough, this is a controversial uh, uh, thing oh. that's been going on in the competitive side of things. The next, the playoffs is when the next season comes around. So nobody's oh. really going to have any time to practice before. Well, playoffs. you know what? That's actually not a bad thing, personally. Because it shows your actual skill, right? Because when you look at things like um, the meta, right? You can just say, okay, well, as long as we follow the meta, copy-paste the meta, and then it's your ability to play the meta. But <laughs> if you're slapped into a brand new season... With completely new things, complete like a full change, it doesn't actually test your ability to play the meta. It tests your ability in the game. You're 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 find the meta. To, yeah, to <laughs> find the meta to adapt to those changes. And that's actually something that I uh, had a discussion with one of my friends in actual league uh, in Summoners Rift that they should actually just follow those seasons because then you could see teams <laughs> trying random stuff. Because, well, okay, I played, like, one game on PBE of this, like, before the, ga the, the the season changed, and now we're, in like, in the middle of the, <laughs> of the of a new split, and it's, it, it might work, and then you end up seeing something absolutely broken that exactly. just dominates exactly. the rift. Yeah, so, it should be interesting to watch, I'm sure, a lot, I've heard a lot of the players are stressing out about it, because they're being thrown into the unknown, but I'm sure we'll see some great things from it. But we also have the standings for these current Ooh, games, yes. so we'll take a look at those very soon. This is going to be the standings for Teamfight Tactics, and as you can see, the Saints TFT Pitsy there up at the top 99, followed by Blue Hens TFT Club in second with 99. And in fifth, we have another Saints player, Naku Taiken, I believe he's the coach for the team. And then down in 10th place, all top 10, are the Saints Kira there with 72. Can you have more than 99 points, or is that just, like, capped? <laughs> that might be the cap for to qualify to playoffs, I believe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could I be see. wrong. I'm sense. not Makes quite sense. entirely sure, but I believe that's what that is. Alrighty. So, that we are looking pretty darn good when it comes to points uh, for the Saints. Yeah, so uh, let's look at the Fortnite ooh, points on the yes. sides of the Saints. Not quite as dominant as there's a lot of competition here in Fortnite. Let's see where the Saints are. I don't think that's the SHSU Saints. we got to look for the SEC Saints. Let's see it. Oh, we're really far down here. Yeah. There we are. There Saints Academy Fortnite 2 with 11 points. That means this is going to be pretty... Oh, wait. There's another. We have two teams. Number two is doing a little bit better than Academy number one. But that just goes to show these games are going to be very important. But there's... A lot of teams. Never mind. Maybe we are in the top few percentages if there's so many teams. Well, here. yeah, because it is a battle royale, right? So there's a hundred teams. So there's at least like a a certain amount that just 
all die before <laughs> they can get any kills or any survive points, right? So from that standpoint, you're... That's kind of like the downside of Battle Royales, and it's why I kind of stopped playing them. Um, it's because you're just going to queue up for like, oh, I don't know, your five minutes. It depends. Battle Royales have pretty fast queue times. Mm -hmm. You're going to drop... You're gonna pick up your your your, your gray pistol. And you're gonna be like, "All right, you know what? I got this." And then some guy shows up, and he's got his fully kitted out scar with fucking uh, whatever armor. And uh, yeah, that is the that that's that. You're dead. Yeah. So you deal with that. <laughs> that's that. But let's talk about games that last a yes. little bit longer. That's gonna be TFT. What do you think of TFT? How, TFT is gonna that? be a little bit interesting. I mean, of course, a little bit later on into the game, um, because TFT is a PVE game when you start off. But what we're gonna be seeing here, the team composition uh, might be. Oh, okay. Two Yasuo was already right in the early game. Um, wait, are those new skins? That's a Cho'Gath. I'm not quite sure. I think this is the same old, same old skins, but hmm. there's always some new designs in TFT, and that's one thing I like is the artistry of it all. And that is true. The art is pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm mad that some skins don't come over. I think uh, they you were should... talking about one of them. Yeah, the it was... Um... The KDA fan Lilia. Yeah, KDA Lilia. That one was good, <laughs> but... I... Fun fact, it's a modded skin. It's a what modded skin. Mean? Like, if like, you use a mod, you can get that oh, skin. Oh, yeah, it's, it in, exists. In, in it's on the model. League. It's in the code somewhere. Yeah, it's in the code. So somebody literally just took it and then applied it to uh, Summoner's Rift. Uh, and, it, well, they did it as a mod, of course. But yes. And you can play it, but they just didn't add it for standard League of Legends for some reason. Which is kind of whack, because now that it's a mod, they can't really add add it into the standard game all that well because well the way that it works right is league is fine with you making any mods modded skins you want as long as they don't replicate the official skins so if there's already a mod for that skin and then they create a skin that is well the same it's not created of course it's translated then you're kind of like on that hindrance of well we created the skin for tft you guys ported it over and then we decided to port it over ourselves oh, some legality so there. yeah from the legal side it's kind of a problem but it doesn't matter too much here uh, at least for tft um looking at it though it's the what? team plan coming out here it looks like he's gonna be building dragons and I don't know what that weight symbol is, if you could help me out there. Uh, I th weight is usually bruiser. Uh, but yeah, these are- this is completely new. This feels new, because Riven wasn't there originally, I don't think. You could be right, you could be right. Th yeah, these are Mythmaker skins. Hmm. So maybe this is the new season. Maybe this is the new season, yeah, because that's Senna- yeah, that Senna's looking whack. Right, this- yeah, this okay, is the yeah, new we... season. Here we are. This is the <laughs> controversial new season. So we're gonna be seeing all the things we speculated about. We see him right here. We're, we're gonna let him cook. <laughs> Basically, what's gonna happen here? Um, so we're going in blind. Uh, they're going in blind. So it's gonna be interesting to see what strategies. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> there's one strategy that I have found works 90% of the time. Have a range DPS. Put two Kinzos on them, and you're good. <laughs> That sounds like a plan here, but looks like we're seeing a little bit more of a complicated plan coming out here. Going for a wide spread of abilities. You know, they don't want to fully commit into one, just trying to get a feel for everything here. As you see, he's not going to end up winning his first fight, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't go on the lose streak, but you do sacrifice a lot of health for that, so... I think that might be the plan right now, because he is just holding on to these items right now. He's not com committing them to any character. To be fair, if you commit items in the early game, they can get stuck on those characters, and then you want to rearrange them, and you can't. So it's not a bad call to just keep those items for the late game at all times. Uh, we're probably going to see everybody else doing the same thing, unless they absolutely know 100% that there's going to be nothing. As here, Yana giving the oh. first uh, augments. Yeah, it looks like he has just like a choice for a gift here of units. He's really game? thinking about this one. Game Chooses two, the middle right? one. Okay. I mean, random stuff, I guess, just gives him gold. Uh, not half bad. But yeah, so... <sighs> kind of hard when it comes to TFT, because it does have an RNG system, right? Mainly when it comes to augments. So, I'm kind of wondering how they're going to adapt. Because they... I mean, they've probably read all the augments through the patch notes, mm -hmm. right? But 
knowing which one to choose in what situation might be a little bit harder. So we're going to kind of be seeing how they want to play this one out. I think I just heard the battle bus. I don't know. The battle bus? My, my mind I, I have my game me. audio turned we'll, off right now, we'll, so I can't hear. We'll see if he wins this fight, though. It's looking like he's going to go for the early loss streak to try and get some gold and play for the future. But He lost my, to the Chibi Sona. My ears did not <laughs> deceive me. We are flying in and loading into our first game of Fortnite here. Wait, this is the same spot they dropped last time. Yeah, this is Lavish Lair. There's some new additions to the map, but not... The entire map hasn't changed. It's not a brand new chapter. Just a new season. Just new additions here. Okay, Going okay. back to TFT, though, we're going to be looking... At a little bit of standstill. I think... Oh, they're all in the middle right now choosing their next item. Oh, yeah, it's the, the, the carousel. Yeah, let's see this carousel. I think he's just keeping an eye on his... Uh, on Check. what he wants. Yeah, his opponent he already builds. picked his stuff up, right? He was last, so... He gets first pick. Uh, oh, wait, there's a safe? Yeah, what? There's a safe. Just getting metal, getting material, and then this is build to confirm for the viewers at home. This is not no build, this is build Fortnite, so... It gets really confusing in the late game because you can't see anything other than the walls. <laughs> it's going to be a real <laughs> test of Fortnite skill here. Not just aim, but it's going to be a brain as well. Seeing who can outsmart the other in terms of building. As we look over is that a here, whip? I think that, that purple is a, like a flail or a whip or something. I think you're correct. I think it's one of the new weapons added in with the season. But must oh. not be a meadow item as he That's so it would to leave seem, it there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, whips in general are kind of a pain to play around since they would be melee. Like, independently yeah. of what game, usually they're going to be like, yeah, let's, I mean, it's like Nyla in in, uh, in League, right? They said, oh, yeah, no, it's the first uh, melee ADC. And, I mean, we can see how much she's played. Uh, exactly. She's not. The first <laughs> melee ADC in my heart will always be Yasuo, though. Oh, please, <laughs> no! I've lost too many games to that. <laughs> well, As the support. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But looking back over at Fortnite... They're just looting, and I think this is a pretty free drop for them. As there's no more medallion here. There used to be a medallion here, the tiger guy. We'd have to take him down, get a medallion, get a vault to start things off. It was a very hot drop point. Everyone wanted to drop there. But now, with the new Greek mythology expansion here, you're not really going to find much <laughs> of value here. <laughs> I heard you say expansion, and I'm just thinking, you're wait, right. hold on. Fortnite's an MMO now? I'm, I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh. <laughs> the new chapter, uh, it's going to be tough for them, though, because these medallions are so strong. Like I said, it gives you, like, Omnivamp, an Air Dash. Uh, those are just the ones I can think of. Some of them give you insane weapons. Like, they give you lightning that you can smite your enemies with. Well, I mean, at least you can't complain that you didn't smite Baron. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta stop <laughs> League references in other games. <laughs> hey, it's just, that's just who you are, Gabe. That's fine. <laughs> I play too much League. It's a disability at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. you know what is a very good game other than League? Maybe you'd even love to become a Fortnite gamer here. Well, 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 if you could add one League character into Fortnite, who would you add? What would be your dream League oh. skin in Fortnite? Dream of League skin in Fortnite. Well, okay, first of all, we need something that'll actually fit. Because, like... You can't have, I don't know, Skarner in the game. He'd or be Cho'Gath. He'd be a back bling. Cho'Gath could I mean, be. He, they would be the size of buildings, so you'd kind of have a big hitbox, you know? Speaking of hitboxes, these players got to watch hairs as they've encountered their first enemy. And they're going on the schmoof. They want to rack up these points. Are they the both in the car? I don't no, think he left his friend. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can't leave your boys like that. Oh, it is a team game. Play with your team. <laughs> Yeah, he'll catch up, he'll catch up. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. Oh, jeez, yeah, this is build. Look at that. One engine sound, and they build the entire Eiffel Tower here. Oh, okay, we're not at the Eiffel Tower yet. You're right, you're right. This is just like a fort right now. It's like a yeah, fort, maybe a base of operations. We, we got like a fob here. Nice, like, starter house. Like, yeah, it's a starter thing. house. You know, it's not your mansion yet, but, like, it's getting there. We put up the wall. Looks like they're trying to get the high ground here. Getting out of the car. I don't think they want to take this fight. I think they just want to 
keep looting up. They want to save the fights for the end game. There it is. That's the lightning bolt of Zeus himself. And it's a very risky weapon. You go up in the air, it's very slow. You throw three lightning bolts, and okay. the third, I think, does like 180 damage. Oh, okay, so it's basically Jin, but instead of four, it's three. Yes, it is a very strong lightning bolt. But going back to TFT, going back to your wheelhouse here. <laughs> going to, more adjacent to your wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah adjacent. And look at that. His coffers are full of money. He's got a full what are those stack buffs? of savings. Did he just... Yeah, what are those buffs? I didn't get to read them in time. Man, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to pull up the patch notes so that I know what I'm looking at. Very smart. Hold very on. Smart. Uh, TFT patch notes. T -t -t TFT patch notes. Patch notes. <laughs> Uh, the latest oh. version, please. 14.6. Sounds about right. All right. Tommy still is on his loss streak, so I don't know if he wants to win this one. He's not going to. Going to. Yeah, he's definitely not going to. He continues to accrue money, but at what cost? He's already in last place. Hey, forget the monetization. I want the stuff that's an actual patch note, please. Uh, man, why can't Riot make these things straightforward, please? It's all monetization. Like, okay, yeah, I get that there's... Ooh, Chibi Ari. That's kind of cute. <laughs> that's, that's, all right. that's why they have the monetization <laughs> first. Going back to Fortnite, though. They're taking a fight. They get a nice snipe. It looks like he was already down, though. And they win their first fight. And Ooh, I was wow. wrong. The wings are in play. So this is going to be a very strong. Wait, effect. did he just use them? No. Still using shock. Uh, shock grenades. But his friend is probably going to be there. Oh, yeah. That's... Ooh, nice snipe. Woo! Doesn't kill, though. He's not down yet. He's still right around that corner. They're trying to secure this airdrop here. Oh, wait. Airdrops are back? Airdrops are back in business. And it looks like it's going to be K1 picking up that drop. As Tayo moves up. He's going to edit. Trying to get the snipe. Doesn't quite hit oh, it, though. No. He takes a lot of damage. He's going to have to retreat back to the depths of this fort. Shockwave's out. Gets out, trying to go for the snipe, misses just barely, and now he's just trying to escape it. I think they picked up a medallion. See those three skulls on that guy's back? Those are They're air skulls? dashes. Oh, oh, okay. They're from the air river dashes. sticks. So now he can dash in midair. Look at that. Right there. You saw that? <laughs> uh, I mean, if this was League, I'd say 400 years of collective experience, but I think Epic Games is a little bit more than that. Uh, all right, cool. Well, welcome to the League really? of Dashes, or uh, wait, the, the 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 Fortnite of Dash. How does that work? The dashes? Yeah. Uh, he has a stack of three which regenerate. It's only because he picked up one of the medallions, the Cerberus medallion. Okay, so Cerberus gives you dashes. I don't know. I'm not like very well versed in Greek mythology. Hades gives you life steal. Cerberus is the dog that guards the gates of hell. Oh yeah, he's the guy with three heads. Yes. Alright, cool. So when you get Cerberus, the three heads, three dashes. Got it. Okay. Exactly. It was three Makes heads sense. on your back, three dashes, the boot. But they're gonna need at least three more lives here as they are getting very, very low. Now using the med kit, they nerfed how fast it is now. It's a very slow med kit now. He gets it off anyways. And they are running rings around their enemies here. Oh, and there's God. enemies coming out of every door. <laughs> they are in a really rough spot here. Yeah, they can see <laughs> footsteps up oh. front, footsteps up back. There's a guy out the window. Oh, they can shots Ooh. and Dio goes down. It's down to K1. Try and clean this up. Now he's taking shotgun after shotgun shot. And 23rd is going to be the placement of the Saints for game one. I mean, you know what? That's better than me because I usually end up 99th. Or maybe a hundredth. Yeah, it was a good just showing, but it's not quite where they want to be this time. They're going to have to play a little bit more aggressively next Wait. time, play for more kills. So both games are in a new season, I just realized. Yeah, Fortnite, the season has been out a little while. This is like brand new season. Like yesterday type brand new. Like within the, the past week or so, yeah. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I wasn't able to find anything on the patch notes, by the way, guys. I'm very sorry. I was just going quickly. Um, it's all monetization from what I can tell. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, it's Riot Games. Small indie company, am I right? Gambling has been made better. There's more to gamble on. But what's not a gamble is going to be this round from Tommy, as this looks to Ooh, be the round he wants go. to win. And look at that. He's winning by a landslide right now.
yeah, I mean, this is going to be his second win, uh, turning that into a streak. That's going to be really good. So his team composition seems to be, st is that Story Weaver? Story Weaver, Why does that give Lord? off Yumi vibes? It does. It does give off Yumi vibes. Maybe because she rides around on the boat there. Uh, Sage, and then Warden. Wait, Tom Kench? What is Stand What's in the Tom Kench to catch doing? Wait, fish what the? for Tom Kench. The more fish he is. This is a Mario Party minigame. You're catching fish for Tom Kench. Wait, what? The more <laughs> loot everybody gets. <laughs> they're all just, see, they're all chasing the fish. They come out of those dark circles, it seems. What? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? The points to, uh, to ride for creativity. I'll, I'll give them that. That is very outside the box. I did not expect that. No, everybody. In the game, gets three gold items? Wow, they must have fed him some good fish there. Well, okay, no, it's just standard items. It's three anvils, though, so oh, okay. you get to pick out a four. But it is That's gonna be interesting to see how that one plays out. So this, ooh, the Yana seems to be, is that a Yana? I think that's a Yana. Or Jana, however you call it. Uh, the Kale has that, like, green buff. What is that? That spear of Shoja? No, 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 it's, no, it's it, not. You're it's right. just, it's just green. I've... It's like um, oh, it's like the uh, moss topper uh, seedling, the, the the jungle item, the green you're one. Right, you're right. But it doesn't give a, a a shield, so maybe it doesn't do league things. Oh, it's Kira going up against Tommy. Kira hasn't lost a game yet, but will it be Tommy? Will it be Tommy? Be the one to take Saints down. shoot Saints, or oh wait no, I think Kira wins this one actually. Oh no, never mind, I retract that. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy smokes! The guy in last place beats the guy in first place. Is he, was he really in last place? Yeah, Tommy was. I believe Tommy was in last place for a while there. Oh he's yeah. Moved off to this more middle point, which is where you want to be if you're not at the top at least. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so we do move on to the next PVP uh, PVE rounds with the uh, Wolves, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, they decide to kind of adapt their comp because like as you, you go further into the rounds, right, you want to lose those uh, those tier 1s and get some tier 5s, hopefully, if possible. But seems to be holding on to Janna's and Kale's for now. Kale is actually a champion that's been really, really consistent. I don't think there's been a single season where there hasn't been a Kale for uh, TFT. Yeah. Well, I think they're just good because they scale in League. They probably designed them to be similar in TFT and it probably just works a little bit better with because TFT is far more inclined to be a draw, drawn out game. There's no True. way you can get a guy down to zero or everybody except you down to zero in this time. In the span of time that you could end a league game, right? Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, league ends at 15 minutes, because let's be honest, everybody <laughs> FFs. It, it would be nice if people... Th Wait, was that... That was a Nico Pop Blossom, but instead of the animation for the Pop Blossom, she did her Control-1 animation of that helicopter Nico. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, they got right. to liven it up a little bit, I guess. I mean, it's TFT. Uh, to be fair, they do have a lot of like times. Like I remember uh, Elise when she was in the game, she had her Q spider form Q animation for her like um, ability. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of whack because you look at TFT and you're like, okay, cool. I expect this champion to do this if you play too much league like I do, and then it's absolutely not what you expect. Like there was Jin running with no passive <laughs> at some point, and I was like, huh? What do you mean Jin doesn't have to reload? It's the entire champion. That's DFD. That's DFD. Yeah. Change things up and make things a little bit different than League. It's entirely different than League. Let's be real. You're just using the champs you already have. Yeah, they're basically just saying, oh, look at that. Free assets we can recycle. Well, let's use those. Uh, although, to be fair, as somebody that did do a little bit of programming, uh, using assets that you already have is very, very nice to do because uh, take assets a take a while to make. Holy smokes. Well, it seems like they make new assets for themselves now that this is the big money maker for them. As Does TFT make more money than, Liga, than standard? I don't know rift? if it makes more, but maybe per player it makes more because of all how it's monetized it is well yeah because tft has played a lot more in um like china and those areas right because yeah, there's um it's on phone right mm -hmm. 
So like maybe they do actually make more through TFT because they have a wider audience. Then again, there's also the fact that, you know, it's a free game, so why would you pay? Um, then again, that's my mindset. I haven't paid for anything. Uh, I am stealing rights. <laughs> <laughs> the hypothetical money. But I mean, then again, it's the 80 20 rule, right? Exactly. Yeah, with TFT, it is way more popular than League because I think there's just a smaller barrier of entry, right? Yeah, Someone who plays beautiful. League, I think, will like League more than the average TFT player. But there will be more TFT players than there will be League players because you have to really enjoy League, to really play League, you have to have a full understanding of the game. I feel honest, little... nobody's going to get that. There is, a, there is a lower skill floor for TFT, but there's also a very high skill cap as yeah. well. There, there is, a, there is a good skill ceiling and skill floor. Like, there's a difference between the two, right? Yeah. Like, if you look at somebody that doesn't know what they're doing versus somebody that knows what they're doing, you're gonna be like, all right, you don't know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, but like, I, I, it's I a lot smaller in I, between the two. I could never beat Tommy in TFT. No. Uh, that's that's just the that's thing just I the make. fact. I yeah. Want that on the record, but uh, which is Naku Taiken for those at home. Uh, lore fans. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, great but lore. I could be able to put some stuff down on the field, right? But not yeah. everybody is going to be able to smite dragon, right? And like your eight-year-old cousin might not be able to be able to play league to the same capacity as you. I'm going to go huff some copium now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just to say that <laughs> TFT is a great game for everybody to try. And hey, if you really love it, if you really dedicate. To yourself to it, you can be like Naku Taiken and Kira here. I'll talisman of Aid. That's what it's called, I think. What? When he hovered it for over the kill? Oh, Talisman of Aid. Yes. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm gonna assume it helps them. Just just from the name, it gives off those Maybe helping vibes. Healing? Maybe it's... Um, healing makes sense, but why would you put healing on your backliners? They get one shot, right? You well, want that on your front line. Kill's like a backliner with range, so maybe you can get a little bit of healing. I don't know. Well, yeah, because mm. maybe it heals other people when you do damage. That knows? could work, yeah. But did he just sell a three star? He potentially could have. Okay. <laughs> he spent a lot on this. Particular oh god, it's the malfight. Too. ADCs run. <laughs> it's a three -star he dumped malfight all of with his heart steel and warmongs. <laughs> okay. He spent all of his bank account on this battle. So if he doesn't win with this one, he's gonna be feeling pretty sorry here. Big brawl up front. The bears are battling it out. Right now, That's Kha'Zix just on the back line gets taken down. And he's just riding Tibbers. <laughs> <laughs> she's not even playing the game. She's just letting Tibbers play the game for her. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's kind of Annie in a nutshell. <laughs> it, you exist only to flash Tibbers somebody. That is the entire purpose of Annie. It's kind of annoying, but hey. I yeah, guess the, the job done. Every character has one annoying thing, or else it's not a good character if it's not annoying. I mean, no, 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 <laughs> no. It, it, uh, characters without annoying traits are the best. Uh, in my personal experience, I, I would much rather not go up against, you know, a champion with a parry or some BS ability that they can just throw out. I think there's two types of people in this world. The ones who like to annoy and the ones who get annoyed. <laughs> Oh, well, we can right. clearly tell we are two different people. Then. Exactly. We got a good variety here on <laughs> yes. the table. I mean, to be fair, I do I do play my fair share of Teemo sometimes. Have you have you played the uh, the, 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 the the thermonuclear Teemo build? It depends what that exactly is, but it is <laughs> it is the most min max to build, so that your mushrooms deal the maximum amount of DPS per mushroom present. Wow. We're I, talking half health ADCs with I one mushroom. I think I know what you're talking about, but something I want to point out is Tommy rising through the ranks here against Kira, Woo! managing to win this one out in a large fashion. Look at that. And now he's already from the bottom, already in third place. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing here. He's okay. He was on a big win streak, lost one, and now he's on a two game win streak. So he's doing pretty well for himself. And the good news is nobody's on fire right now. Nobody's like still 100 health, right? Yes. So there's nobody dominating. There's just, it's like a, a pretty balanced exchange here as I think our first player is going to be eliminated uh, right after this PVE round. Uh, Actually, or well, oh, onto the next PVP. If they don't win.
win the PvE round, they'll be eliminated, but they definitely are. It's hard well, to... Yeah, I meant, like, during the PvP round. Oh, yes. That comes after that. It's it's kind of rare to lose to Raptors, except when you play Lees, because for some reason, Raptors win the 1v1 against the Lees. That's just... Yeah. I don't know. Single target damage, multi-target damage, not the best. Anyways. What's the best item here? If you were Tommy, what would you have to pick? Uh, good question. Mm. <laughs> ah, it's not a bad call. He but has like, three giant spells on his back line. This boy is better than Hanky. War Monks. Use two of them. <laughs> hard Steel. Okay. Is that like a good combo? I'm not sure. To be fair, Hard Steel I don't think does the same thing in TFT as it does in Standard League. Because Hard Steel is infinitely stacking bonus health. And that bonus health was wow. absolutely useless as they got completely nuked. Okay, cool. Is he about to lose this one? Yeah, I think Tommy's about to lose to Bazo there. Bonzo. Yeah, he lost. After such a strong showing, that's a little bit of a shock. Yeah, no, that is surprising. Is Ooh, wait, hold on. Is oh, okay, Yoni's gonna do Yoni things. Hold up. Let's just let that happen. Ah. Yoni's one of the one of the champions of all times, sure surely. Both in TFT and in League. I just I can't with that champion sometimes. His new skin is cool though, you gotta admit. Hanun Yone, that's, that's a wicked skin. <laughs> From an it's art standpoint. It's alright. <laughs> I still prefer Skarner. Have you, have you seen his new skins? Yeah, he's beautiful and gold. <laughs> Man, I... Oh, his new skins? I haven't seen all of them. I've only seen his new reworks yet. Oh, like the rework ones? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, oh, speaking of... There's a as, a as a person that played Cho'Gath for a little bit. There was a there is a new Cho'Gath skin on PVE right now. It's uh toy Cho'Gath. Was that the, they have the cheese skins now? I saw a nacho cheese Zach. Yeah, there's a there's um cheddar ch cheddar chef Twitch. Yeah, I saw that, that. one's really good. That one's good. Oh. Uh, but what's not good is Tommy is having a really rough time right now. Naku Daikin gonna take a lot of damage here. Back off. Yeah, no, back down to 11, or well, third, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, sixth place. I'm gonna get the right number eventually. Um, third, third, to, third last, sixth place. Yeah. Math is hard. This is why I'm in an esports program and not in mathematics, um, or science for that matter. I tried science, that did not go well. You do not want to know. <laughs> Fair enough, but the fine science of TFT is what we're looking at here, and Knight the file is gonna be the one being taken down first, and now I'm right. Baya is looking to be right by Knight the file in the next game here. Wait, right Baya? Wait, where is that's, that name? That's his second last name. Huh? Second yeah. last? Yeah. Right Baya. Oh yeah, look at that. I I need glasses. Why do I never bring my glasses? I don't know, but it looks like Tommy's bringing the heat here as he's fighting for his life right now. It takes down the. ADC and now that's gonna be it. He's gonna is that take down? Oh no, he has four so health. So close. Damien gonna wow. get out of four health. He has Dragon Lord right now. It's gonna be the build that Tommy's going for. Yeah. So Dragon Lord, what kind of buffs does that give? He seems to be hovering duelist. He wants to get that duelist buff up, it would seem, but he's probably not gonna go for it. I don't know why though. Um. Well, I have to say. What he picks on this next carousel is probably going to be really, really important. The Hoi... Wait, Hoi is in the game now. With the Heart Steel. Okay, so he's... Either he's picking, picking it for the Heart Steel, or he's picking it for the Hoi. Um, really do wonder which one it is that he's looking for. There's the possibility that it is just for that extra tankiness, but I think the Hoi is just going to be sold. Let's see. Yep. Hoi is sold. Just a little bit of a moneymaker there. Oh no, he doesn't have enough. Uh, he's not going to go for it. Goes for the refresh. Doesn't find anything. Yeah, he wants the tier 3 Zaya. Or Z bleh. I'm I'm going to learn to talk eventually. Zyra. Because um, that is like still a pretty strong champion in pretty much every aspect. Um, once you get that to tier 3, well, any character of tier 3 is good. Uh, objectively. So much stronger than others, though. Exactly. Bonzo, gonna be the one who defeated Tommy last time. Will this be Tommy's last match? It's all gonna be up in the air right now. Don't tell many. 
as Tommy can take down right now. How many characters he can take down. Uh, oh, that's gonna be it. Yikes. He's gonna be eliminated. That's all she wrote. Naku Taiken. Well, do, do we still have a sink in? We do. We have Kirabonk at the top. Oh yeah, he's dominating. Yeah. Alright, it was a, it was a sacrifice. One dies <laughs> so that the other lives. Okay. And oh my game. god, holy kale! One is 11 large right now with that kale. What? Story Weaver full build. And uh, are those three buffs on the kill? I think the like the you know the the, the buff I was talking about yes. the green one, right? I think that's three of them. I think you're right. So it could. Be that's gonna be uh, massive. Yeah, that's gonna forward. be terrifying. We'll see how Kira does in this next exchange. Let's see it. All right. From Shinobu's point of view. Looks to be going all right for Shinobu, but there's so many things going on right now. I'm just looking at the health bars. Shinobu getting very, very low out of nowhere. Gets shield. Gonna... That kill is alive, really low. That kill is on nothing, but still alive. It's down to 2v2. And oh no. It looks as if Kira what is, is that? to win. Is that an Irelia? Wow. The Mythmaker Irelia is so strong. What? I the it hell? looked like Kira was about to lose there. It was like yeah, 51. he did. But like, I mean, Irelia, 200 years champion. Am I right, boys? Uh, how? Wait, why is it? Okay, hold on. There are so many things that are like frying my brain right now <laughs> that don't make any sense. Irelia is a backline champion now. Possibly, maybe those. Yeah, those blades go burr. Look at them. They just go flying. They just spin. go spin. Okay, yeah, because I really didn't under. have enough spinning with her 70% damage reduction, whatever ability. Just a mobile blender on the side of Kira. That is Aaron. insane. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, uh, we have an Irelia now. That is a backline champion. I will... They got an upgrade on Galio. Tier huh. 2 Galio. Looking for the tier okay. 2 Galio. That's good. That's really good. The front line is strong. It, it, it's, uh, it's a front line that'll last. Uh, is that a Zoe? I think there's a Zoe for, as artillery to cover. And I think that's a Zaya too. I don't know what the Zaya is there for though. That is a bronze Zaya, so tier one. Not quite sure. But we shall see. Yeah. There's the blender Oh my god, that forward. Rage Blade stacks fast. This is looking a little dicey, but that's what happened last time. The other two of the best people in the lobby right now. Only three remaining. Now, will he be able to take him down? Oh my god. Look, Look at the speed that that Irelia attacks at. Look at that damage. Those blades literally just... Okay, so those blades go through every champion. And spin around over and over. No, so they go through each champion. They make like their way through, right? And then they come back, and then she throws them out again. But each time it hits a champion, that's another stack for the Rage Blade. Wow. And I believe the blades move faster the higher the attack speed on the Irelia. That is insane. That is insane. And then you just have the big DPS on top of that with that last item there. <laughs> yeah, the IE, of course. I mean, it's like you got 20% chance, but each blade going through probably has a chance to proc crit, which is a lot of damage, and then on top of that, the Rage Blade was just stacking. Although, granted, the Rage Blade doesn't stack on each blade hitting, but still, that is insane. The amount of damage that Irelia is pouring out is just ridiculous, mainly at that later stages of the fight, but she just died. Oh. Okay, come on. I, I was complimenting you, Irelia. Do Irelia things. <laughs> Yeah, Kirbox lost to Gang Bonzo. Once again, Gang Bonzo being the the kryptonite to the Saints right now. Yeah, that is kind of a problem there. Uh, since they're going to have to find some way to solve that. Uh, but it is the top three situation right now. So we're going to be seeing possible like sales or something like that just to try and get uh, something up and running. That's, what is that team composition? Artist, great lovers, and spirit walker. Let's what? what? Going for the singular buffs. Yeah. The more expensive. Plus sage. Chance. But a little bit of sage. Yeah, they have a mix of things there, but all in on storyteller is going to be the story. Kira's looking to tell right now. Looking dicey here, Shinobu, number one in the lobby right now. Not 
I'm much only one point away from Kira. But it looks like Kira has lost again. And this is not looking great for the Saints. Yeah. Good health, but second place as Gang Bonzo got taken out by a bot, I believe. So it's at least a top two situation. Now, there is a comeback angle with this carousel, but it's going to be a really hard one to achieve. So what is he going to opt for? He's not sure. He's going to go for the Sunfire Cape. Okay. Interesting. That is really interesting, because he he's probably not going to go for another level and an extra character on the board. I don't think he can, actually. I think he's level 9. Doesn't have uh, any money, either, really. His no. his coffers are empty. He has, like, under 10. He's points. Yeah, he's completely broke. So, I... What can he opt for? I do, uh, hoping. Hoping it works out. Hoping the arrangement is perfect. Yep. Got a little bit of a rearrange. And now Shinobu. Looking right, very good. Battle. Kira. Fighting for their life here. Alright, let's see this one. That's an Azir in the back line too. With two static shifts. Hmm. It's going to deal a lot of damage. There's so much AoE in this team composition. That's what that's one of the things that's like really screwing over Kira here. Is there's too much AoE. So his tanks don't last long enough. Yeah, and there that it is. is going to be it. Shinobu is crowned the winner of game one. But that's not gonna be the only game of TFT we're gonna be having here today. We're gonna have some more on the way soon enough. But we also have Fortnite going on. Oh, Fortnite's going on right now. We didn't even see him I drop. Believe. I, I, or we maybe might just be chilling. Maybe not. For a bit. Maybe not. Maybe in, we'll in between see. both games. But oh god, Fortnite people are getting leaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, uh, both games were pretty good. Um, granted, uh, Fortnite team kind of got picked off just out of nowhere. It is what it is. It happens. Um, but I mean, TFT Kira went pretty darn far there. Top two. It's I mean, it's pretty good. It's better than what I would have done. Pretty good. Yeah, Kira was very dominant throughout that game. Just. Couldn't really close it out in the end because yeah. I believe Shinobu was building like all the expensive, most expensive champs you could get. And they had all the one of one passives that are so strong. They just stacked all across the board and they even had other stacks to boot. It was just really hard to beat that. Got very lucky in, in terms of uh, team comp and just had the funds to do it as well. Yeah. I and mean, the funds is kind of a big thing. You know, when you're playing, you're going to be like, okay, so this is going to be when we end. Or like, okay, we're coming up to that point where I need to just invest into my team. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, okay, well, I lived. But now I'm broke. Well, yep. guess I'm doomed. <laughs> you know, it's kind of that balance between, okay, well, maybe I don't spend everything. Like, me personally, when I play TFT, I just never full spend. I, I, I get myself to 50. So that I have my economy permanently boosted and I never go under 50. Just because I don't want to take the risk of me going, okay, well, let's all in into this. And now I don't have any economy. What I do is I accumulate much like you. But as soon as I get to 50 or a little bit above 50, I just dump it all. <laughs> I just want a team at that point. I want to get going. I want to get playing. Fair enough, fair enough. I want to get winning. I don't know if that's a good strat or not, but it works for me 50% of the time. I love I a little mean, coin flip. What? I love a little coin flip. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> coin flips are... I mean, it's a 50% chance of winning. I'll I'll take it, as long as my life isn't on the line. Yeah, what's the worst that could... Actually, don't answer that question. But, yeah, generally speaking, the games went well. Uh, of course, we're going to be seeing, I think... So, Fortnite has another game coming up. So does TF. Is it both just two games, or is there a third I, game of Fortnite? I don't remember. I think Fortnite's three, TFT is two, I okay. believe. So we're going to be seeing another Fortnite match very, very soon. And what are you thinking? We saw some craziness already. We didn't see all too much of it. But you saw that dash medallion? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. It's it's crazy, and it's not to a certain point. It's not oh overpowered. my god. No. It, it won't be overpowered, that's for sure. Not like lead dashes, but the thing that I want to kind of bring attention to is gonna definitely be the uh, is that Mount Olympus on the map? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Hey, we're in ancient Greece there, and then we also have, I believe, there's like Hades underworld over there. See the green fog. Oh. The river sticks running through. <laughs> so Cerberus is over there, and also Hades. Interesting. Okay, so that's... But they're still dropping at the same spot. 
survive. Now, could this be because they're just used to that area? I think they just know the house very well. It's not really a hot drop. It's a safe area with a lot of chests, a lot of loot that you can get. So it's good RNG. Yeah, not gonna give you the game winning setup, but it's gonna give you enough that you can get a couple kills with it. All right, yeah, that's fair enough. To be fair, kills are worth a point. Placement is worth one point per... Oh, Whoa. hold on, they're being contested here. Yeah, look, I think that's one another duo? duo's there. Wait, what is that red glare? What red glare? Or was that a marker? I'm not sure. I think that's a marker right there. Okay, they do seem to have gone a little bit further away, though. So, no need to worry about that. Gonna pick up all that ammo. Uh, this one thing. Is ammo the biggest problem, or are materials the biggest problem on in the late game? Um, late game, ammo is definitely a little bit more rare, but if you don't have enough materials, you're not even going to make it to the late game. You need to have enough materials oh, to build it up. Lightning. No one likes lightning. I love lightning. That's just me, though. I mean, I'm to not be a fair, player. If you're stuck in stasis for like a few seconds while you throw them... You're up in the air very vulnerable. Yeah, like a sniper is just going to remove your skull the second you get up there. So unless the animation like makes you move around a little bit, it's no. going to be really, really, yeah. So from that standpoint, lightning might not be the best because you can just get beamed. Because Is there a sound cue link to it? There is the sound of a thunder. <laughs> a very booming thunder well, like As you go up. Yes. Oh, okay. Very so yeah, loud. in that case, you, it wouldn't be usable. Because like, there there, if there wasn't a sound cue for when you go up, then, okay, viable, because you go up, the first one catches them by surprise, you throw down the last two while they're kind of not sure what's going on, and then you can move on, right? But if there's a sound cue, uh, you can't do anything. They can... Is he stuck on a chair? Yeah, Yikes. got him. He broke oh, that's it. one strong chair. <laughs> <laughs> not they even make him good in the Fortnite world. Yeah, so it would seem at least better than mine. Mine's already starting to uh, fall apart. Well, I mean, uh, not completely, but... Uh, oh, the vault is still here. It's just wide open now. I didn't know that. That's, this is a pretty good drop. Somebody then. forgot to lock their vault, I guess. It's, it's open for... It's canonical. The last season, remember when uh, the player opened the vault? Now it's just permanently open. Yeah, I don't follow uh, Fortnite lore. <laughs> I kidding. played Fortnite for like... Oh my god, when was the last time I played Fortnite? It was when I was in high s No. I was in middle school. Wow, it's been a while. Uh, I was in high school when I first played Fortnite. Well, it's because here's the thing, right? It came out as I was... Or like... Uh, eight, I stopped playing Fortnite the second Apex dropped. Uh, I see. Because so I can't you it build. For like a year, maybe. Yeah, so like I played it for a year when I was in seventh grade, and then eighth grade, Apex drops, and I'm like, ooh, wait, hold on, a game where you can't build, <laughs> and there's mobility, and there's abilities, and there's abilities, <laughs> and then I was sold, and then season three came around, I became a crypto main, and here I am now. Here we are. Unfortunately, Apex had that vulnerability. I hope you aren't playing it on your computer. You know about that? Yeah, I saw it. It's uh. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been playing it for a while now, just because I've been playing other games. Uh, That's fair. Uh, none of them are healthy either. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, we've seen what League has done to you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's been pretty bad. I mean, to be fair, I'm also playing other games like Titanfall 2. Oh, Titanfall boy. 3, when? Respawn, please! Um, that's not going to happen. I'm going to go off my copium real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> I already said they are developing a new game, but hey, looks like we're going to be developing a fight here as he lands two quick shots there. Sneakies? Some grenades there. Try and break down the Holy structure. smokes, how many does he have? Is that a, tr is that a bus? No, that's a, a Oh! Yo, who brought Via Rail here? There it is, landing at the first station. This is in Oshawa, though. This is going to be... <laughs> I can't read it on the map. Just train station number one. That's what I'm going to call it here. Lavish Lair. Now, there's... Grenades. Let's get some strong forts. Those grenades aren't I mean, it is much. built out of brick. It's better than straw. If <laughs> you've heard three right. little piggies. Three little piggies are going to be fighting those. A big bad wolf goes in, finds one. We're going to find another. Gets blocked out. But he's going to just shoot on through. Huffing and puffing. And the fort is not going to go down. But he takes down the first kill. You know what Fortnite needs? What? It, it needs execution animations. <laughs> That's one of the things that I love from Apex. You could just bonk someone on the head to execute them. I guess it'd be a little too brutal for Fortnite, though. A little bit. But I think now, I miss when you could shake people down. I think that was you the only You could shake people? With uh, 
the NPCs. You can knock them down, then pick them up, shake them down, and you get their stuff. You don't have to kill them. <laughs> it was just fun to do. Fortnite. I like that they added you can pick them up now. You can pick up enemies, toss them around, rough them up a little bit. Throw, oh yeah, I saw that one. Oh, who was it? I was watching some YouTuber. It was like, um... He would have his friend pick up the enemy and then just execute them with the shotgun. <laughs> I was just looking at it like, why would you do Let's it that keep way? Keep shooting. <laughs> exactly. Oh uh, wait. Oh, you don't usually see that wall being edited in the like little corner wall. That's kind of rare. It's rare, but I think they're looking to hold down this fort here. They got a couple kills. Could play it safe. Oh, I just realized this shotgun has three sides, not shotgun. four. Interesting. It's a very uh, tight spread shotgun that can go pretty far. It's Pretty like decent. the tactical shotgun that they used to have? <sighs> or like not as much? Not as much. It's more like a focused pump. The reload is very long. It's so like Peacekeeper type thing? Yes, exactly. Okay, like that. okay, That's okay. how it feels to shoot it. With right. or without the choke? Without the choke. Okay. okay like so a level one choke. When okay, you tier one choke. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I can see. Fun fact, when I started playing Apex, I thought that it was the 1-2-X site that had the choke. <laughs> I was an idiot, but yeah, I thought it was linked to the site that I was using, and I was so dumb. <laughs> but here, they're just like, kind of chilling. This is camping at its finest. They have I a mean, nice tent up. They're they're just chilling, they're just, bonding, yeah. swapping stories. <laughs> this could this could be us right now. Yeah, I really could. I mean, to be fair, this is exactly how my Tarkov's game games go, except a little bit more schizophrenic, uh, because I swear every sound is something. Um, you get paranoid very quickly when you start playing Tarkov solo. He's shaking his head, no. <laughs> it's because he's trying to reload, and uh, when yep. you can't reload, right, it is the uh, no shake animation. He asked for ammo, he's saying no, 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 whittled him down and gave the heavy <laughs> bullets at the end. Now, we're going to look, look over. Scoping it out, playing very carefully. Is that, what is that golden shiny thing at the, down there? Are those? Is that, a, Is that a chicken? It's a chicken of Midas, I believe. It's gonna give him some gold bars. What? Look at all these gold bars! Look wow. Look at that, that chicken. That's, well, like that's a lot of chickens! So many golden eggs! Okay, well, hold on. I need to brush up on my Greek mythology. Hold up, let me pull up a Wikipedia page real quick, cause uh... I don't remember a golden chicken. Yeah, I do actually. That, no? which is the wacky thing. Yeah, it was. Well, it wasn't a chicken. It was a goose. The golden goose. I remember that from Jack and the Beanstalk. I yeah, I that's, think that's what it was. I don't think that's Greek well, mythology. I, oh, <laughs> but we could be wrong. That maybe that's where they got it from. You know, there's always. Yeah, I. Uh, okay, what is what happening? What the? Who is building Trump Tower here? Uh. -huh. Are they uh, like faking a fight or something? Architecture. Oh uh, yes, architecture at its I finest. I think he is bored. I think he's trying to start a fight here. He's trying to make a big structure for everyone to see. Everyone well, look, he just shot it out. He just wasted his materials. I have no idea what's going on here. I am a Fortnite gamer, but I am not build Fortnite gamer. Maybe this is... No. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe he did see somebody. Maybe a bullet whizzed past him. We just didn't notice. I mean, is that a sniper without a scope? I think that's a sniper without a scope. Yeah, he's trying to get the no scopes off. Oh, it does a lot of damage here. Oh, wow. One more shot away and takes him down solo. Taken out. And there's some wings of Icarus there if anyone wants to take it. Oh, they're purple, not even gold. Interesting. Yeah, yeah they're pretty common in the, the Greek mythology areas. Drop pretty commonly out of chests. Good movement, but... A little bit risky, kind of slow in the air. Okay. But they do have a very strong attack that you can do a dive bomb. Oh wait, you can dive bomb, just like straight up. Yep. Kamikaze in there. Okay. Wait, but then wouldn't that be pretty risky? It is risky, but you can do it one inch off the ground. You can just jump up in the air, get the gliding animation to go, and they can slam for full damage. It does like a hundred damage. It's pretty for crazy. For full damage when you're barely a few centimeters off the ground. Yep. It's hard to pull off, it is more like a tech. It's more like an elytra. Exactly. But now, look at that. Driving and a building. And they they do have the high out. ground here. They are at an advantage state. Uh, but it's going to be kind of hard to play around it, you know? Yeah, definitely going to be a little bit tough here. Because now everybody's going to target them. So they need to, like... 
That's kind of the thing. The high ground is the advantage in every game except a battle royale because a battle royale high ground puts you puts a target on your back. That's it. Uh, it could be good. Well, it's easier it, to defend, it, but it, it's it, harder to defend if it puts a target on your back and everybody's rushing exactly, you at the same time, exactly. right? When there's less people, it's a one v one scenario. You want the high ground. Oh yeah, it's a one v twenty five. You don't want the high ground. You don't want that target on your back. No, uh, you want to be as scarce as possible. You don't want people to know you're there. That is, uh, that is essentially what happens. That's kind of how most battle royales work, right? You don't want people to know you're there unless you know it's a 1v1, right? So if the second you're seen... Oh, I got a gold shotgun. Ooh! That is pretty lucky. Is that the same type, though? Uh, no. I think that's just a pump shotgun, but they're still pretty strong. Pretty strong. Well, that's good. So not as much range, more damage up close. I'm gonna assume faster reload. I believe too. A faster reload. Wait, is it single shell or is it a magazine shotgun? Which one? Uh, the, the 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 gold one. The, that one. That one's a pump. That's gonna be a. Uh, I'm blanking on the term right now. But you load multiple shells in. Uh, okay, two loader. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause yeah, there's a. Uh, the, I mean, there, there are so many sh different shotguns. If you play Tarkov. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a lot of different types of shotguns, uh, or just guns in general. But yeah, when you're looking at that, pump shotguns are usually uh, breech loaders, or not breech. Oh boy, tube loaders. Yes. <laughs> breech loaders are not bad at all. Oh boy. Oh. But did he just? There is fall damage in this game, right? Yes. I don't think you can kill your teammate with the car though, because I have. Well, no, but he so he ran into his friend, but his friend just flew up. Yeah. I don't think you take fall damage if your friend rams you, but if you ram an enemy... Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. So ramming an enemy sends them airborne 100% of the time? If you're going fast enough, yeah. Wait, isn't that just free CC? Yeah. But it's hard to shoot an enemy in the air going that fast is the problem. Oh, uh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. It's Thank not you. like a league or the airborne. Wait, what the... Angle. When did that island spawn? Uh, five seconds ago. It's oh, gonna be a full of nice loot from the claim. And they can also claim a flag, which alerts them to all the enemies in the area at Whoa, the cost. hold on. Did I just see a... Uh... Oh my it's god. Bench. No, 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 no. That magazine. A drum mag. Who puts a drum mag on a sniper rifle? People who want to have more than three shots get a fourth shot. <laughs> oh, wait. He gets a fourth shot with a drum mag? Yeah. Ain't no way a drum mag just gets you one extra bullet. Those bullets are big. Even 50 BMG isn't that big. You get five shots in a small magazine. These are the shots that kill elephants here, Gabriel. It's not just any. These are 40 bullets. Look how big those bullets are. Those are comically big bullets. Yeah, they are the size of somebody's leg. That's more like artillery <laughs> shells. Holy smokes. Wait, but then wouldn't the guns be too small for the bullets? No. 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 You're thinking too hard, but it looks <laughs> like Tayo is not thinking too hard about his next enemy. He's lining up the shot. He goes from the no scope, doesn't land. No. Uh, to be fair, you're probably better off no scoping with a shotgun if you want to get a hit. The problem is the shotguns don't go that far in this game. Oh, right, because right, the pellets disappear, don't they? Yes. And it doesn't get the shot, but somebody else does. Somebody else take, took that guy down. There is a little bit of a fort going on there, a little bit of cover. Get the snipe on him just yet, but he's gonna be waiting as the storm pushes in. All these people here have to push towards this island. They're in a very good spot. They have the high ground, and they have a very nice fort going on. Doesn't hit any of these oh, guys. oh, he hits that one yeah, though. The headshot was crisp. Look at that, and he gets the takedown as well. Yup, that was uh oh, that was crispy. I think they're out Ooh. of materials, or they were like r sparing their materials. Well, and you just uh, don't, didn't expect to get sniped out of nowhere. To be Head fair, we're, this is kind of a late circle. You should expect snipers to be everywhere. He's expecting snipers, but where's he gonna go? His back's to the storm, and the where he's gotta run. Oh, oh wow, he has a fast. shockwave. Yeah, I think he's good there. Shockwaves are pretty meta, aren't they? Seem to be, seem to be. Oh, there's even a launch pad there. They're in an amazing spot. Oh yeah, they're in a really good spot. Wait, those islands don't disappear, do they? Nope. Okay, but they, they just do. Are, they are gonna get eaten up, eaten up by the next storm, though. Ooh. Okay, so that's gonna be something to keep in mind. But here, they're just taking pod shots with the snipers. 
playing the like expressive fire, third party fire. I hate it when that happens. Um, Ooh, people are noticing them though. They're all yeah. shooting at them, like you said. You don't want to make yourself too a target, big of a target. Yeah. Here, do you think they're gonna use the wings, or do you think they want to keep so. their slops? They're slops. They're slots. I want to keep those sloppy sl slots here. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Words are hard. Want to move on to the next circle? I think they value those shields too highly. And now, there's too many. Is this boards a top to two? Shoot through. Oh no, no no okay I was looking at the kills my bad. Although well, that might be three. Oh yeah they're gonna take the jump pad now. Got all juiced up here now they're gonna. Oh wow that goes high. It's because they used the potion right beforehand. Oh, right, 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 right. It gives you the, the like, low gravity thingy. And I know. This is like a beautiful, perfect hero's journey. Now we're returning to where we, we started this journey. Yeah, they uh, left those uh, nades there. Those but now, th it's changed. There's some enemies afoot. Oh, no. Oh, wait, there's a llama. Man, those things are still in the game. They are. They're not as good as they once were. Now they don't drop, like, gold, everything you need to win the game. That's just, like... Good set of material, some healing, just stuff. I you just might realized need. maximum materials is 500 now. Was it not 99? Before? Yeah, back in my day, that thing 99. was 999. It was capped at a 1k. Well, not really, but let's be honest, one material isn't gonna change much. That is odd though. I mean, to be fair, building is busted one way or the other, but like, if people don't wanna build, they're gonna be playing no build anyway, so why would you lower the cap? So maybe so you don't get structures up to the skybox anymore. Bro, sky bridging was fun. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, 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 I, I, I'm not Epic Games. I didn't make this change. Okay, it, it was fun until you got shot down. There. Then you oh, were. Oh, we just... got a revive close by. Wait, what? Yeah, someone that revived a teammate there. Look at them. They're being shot out of the sky by th three different teams, but he manages to get out. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice shot. Team? That's body. That is doing really, really well. The damage is being laid down. Right now they're just chewing through their meds. They're really in an advantage spot. So they can just play that advantage so, so well. But it's going to be hard to play once that storm comes in. Although the storm does move now. Oh my god. There are so many things that change in this game sometimes. It's hard to follow it if you're not actively playing it like all the time. That's me. That's me. I'm, I'm a Fortnite gamer. But you play no build, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got me. You got me. I'm not as <laughs> Fortnite gamer as I could be. Oh. Uh, hey, everybody has room for improvement. Uh, maybe just, maybe one day I'll come back. I can't build. <laughs> Building is the foreign concept to me. I don't know. I could build on controller. I don't think I'll ever be able to build on PC. I couldn't build either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the most building I ever did was drop down a Gibby shield or a rampart wall. That's about it. Or playing Minecraft. My best uh, building strat was to make the roof into these like diagonal roofs, and I set my building sensitivity 100. I just spin around, and build 500 of that, moment. and it would set up this weird spider web, and then you just play in that. Oh, smart! It was it was fun and not very meta, not very good, but as we can see, it the meta and goodness is with the Saints right now as they're taking shots at that enemy fort. Not gonna quite do the damage they need though to get any shots on the enemies. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they're outside of the ring now, so they're gonna need to start using their grenades and their mobility to get back in there. To be fair, that island I think is back in the ring. The island that they were on previously is back, but it's probably contested right now. Oh, hold on, they're, they're just wow, they're dashing into enemies. I'm trying to break that down and get shockwaved out. Was that him shockwaving back? Because he couldn't break it. I don't know. They're pushing on through. Them. I think they shockwaved out. And huh, now they're running all the way over there. They're still on the chase. Looking to get the takedown here. Yeah, everybody wants that high ground right now. Because the high ground only has two access points. Oh, well, three. Any jump pads or whatever utility that gets you up. Plus uh, those two zip lines on each side. Right, so yeah, exactly. from that standpoint, there's a lot you can do. Oh, oh that's the lightning. Leaves you very vulnerable. Yep, we're nope. talking about that. Didn't get the headshot though, so still gonna keep on going. But if it has that utility, that is uh, that is really good. Getting you up though, to be fair, 
if he took a little bit more time on that shot, he could have gotten the headshot. I think he just he panicked a He's little bit He's in a bit chaotic scenario right now. Yeah, it is a little bit of a chaotic scenario. Uh, I wouldn't be able to take the shot, period. I, I'm so slow with snipers. You would not believe how slow I am. I mean, aside from, like, playing Krunker, <laughs> where I am just a quickscope king because it's a mobility shooter, and I just instantly one-tap people, um, I can't play. I, I, I cannot snipe oh, well. Look at that damage. They take him Woo! down with lethal precision. Now, it's the player count at right now. Is that four? Is it a 2v2 right Jim? now? No, that's that's 18. Oh, you're right. That's four kills and four assists he has right now. My well, bad. I mean, it's still a Jin scoreline. What can I say? Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, definitely not the amount of players left. Uh, it is a late game circle and competitive Fortnite. So, yeah, it, it, 18 people sounds about right. Four would be uh, kind of surpri surprising. Most, uh, most of the people last until uh, more than a few circles. But I do find it kind of odd that they made the circles move. Back in my day, the circle just closed completely. Look at that shockwave, perfect. Oh! Did they mean to do this? Yeah. Oh, they're getting back on the island, but it looks like someone has uh, taken up that house to come back and found some squatters here. It's gonna be a battle for this island here. Whoever wins this one will undoubtedly win the game, or at least be in a position to do Oh, so. the flank! There's a big flank, and now they're editing right up onto this side of the storm. If they can find the one piece that's holding this puzzle together, it all comes crashing down. Oh, finds a brilliant shot from the corner there. It's a takedown with the teammate. Yep, and that'll do. That's one down. They have the access to that high ground. Now it's only a question of do they have enough building materials to stay alive as that stone is slowly dwindling down. I think they're down to, yeah, down to the hundreds, uh, still 500 on both wood and metal. But when that stone starts running out, once you start leaving those, uh, getting to those other materials, I mean, what that's, uh, each build is what, 10? I believe so. So, okay, let's do some quick math here. 50, 50, so 100, 100, uh, 110. They got 110 buildings to place. It's not too many. You really think about it. Ooh, gets a nice edit though. And there's the rift once again. Looking for it again. Gets bumped, but gets in it anyways. And now they'll be able to freely rotate to the next circle, which looks to be in that. Everybody's huge... in the sky. Holy smokes. Look at all those indicators. And look, I think everybody's in the sky, and no one can shoot at each other. If you think of there's a few plebeians on the ground still, but <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> Look at the building going on right now. It is pure chaos and this Fortnite lobby. Oh boy, this is going to be explosive when these players hit the ground here. Yep, instantly builds a house and a half because, let's be honest, that's what you need right now. Uh, oh, his teammate. Pushing. K1 gets out. His teammate is there for him with the edits. And now he's going to move past. Edit it back, edit it back. There it is. Look at that. This is Fortnite building at its finest. Gonna go for the kill, finds two stragglers, takes one, takes the other down. That's a team down, just like that. Now, there's only 11 players remaining. Those materials are maxed out too, so they have a lot of resources to play around. They got the nade to get them back into the circle. They're in the sky, but that's an easy target for them, although they do melt the opponent's shields. They could take down that sky bridge right now if they just shot the right mm. angle, but we drew it's a trolling. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is pretty dangerous here. If they play zone, they do have a bit of an advantage, but it's not that significant. So it's going to be hard to play around this one. They are getting shot at, though. They need to watch out. The zone is coming in. They're going to have to nade that one. Try and get back in. Is that a sky bridge? That is a sky bridge. Well, a little bit of a sky bridge. It's not like a big one, but it is a sky bridge-ish. It's a partial sky bridge. Oh my god. Those nades really are meta, aren't they? Are they so good if you can use them? Take you so far, get you, get you those quick off angles. Oh, wow, that snipe was very close, but not gonna be it. Another shockwave, gonna go for the air spray, takes down his floor beneath him. Now we're up in the air on the sky bridge itself. Such a mega structure going on right now. Take him down, oh. he's down to six HP. Is he gonna live? Will he be able to stay till the end? 
Tayo has a lot of He's work cut out for him. He's going up into the sky. The heavens above is where he escapes to. Gonna take one last big shield potion here. And now, Tayo with K1 oh, at his gonna, side. Okay, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. He's chill. They have the high ground. No one else can be above them. There is no one above these two right now. Uh, but there are seven or so below them. I think there's six below them waiting for them to drop. This is a risky area to be in. Anyone could shoot this structure down if they just looked above their heads. And I think they know this. They're going to go for the blast. Give some immunity to fall Leroy! damage. They're going in. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins himself. The spirit is here. They're going to go in for a kill. K1 goes down, but he takes one down in tow. And now it's a 1v3 scenario for Tayo. This is a very oh dicey situation. Oh this ring is as small as it can get. It's going to be all storm from here on out. They're all collapsing in on each other. And now... With only two other players remaining, it's possible he gets in a car! <laughs> no one gets the kill! And now it's a 1v1 situation, the car blows up! He's above and misses oh. the snipe! But Glames, second place for the Saints! Wow, okay! That was... That was really, really close. That's Fortnite right there. That, yeah, that, that's Fortnite after, you know, a, 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 a few... What, like 40 minutes of winning? Uh, we got some action! <laughs> Okay, I'm, 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 I'm kind of trashing off. Hey, that was really interesting. That perfect amount, that Fortnite ended, and now we're done with the waiting game here. Oh yeah, DFT. straight into the action. Look at that, all the money and two win streak. Tommy is off to a decent place right now. Yeah, we got uh, an area, I think, that is with a... Is that a buff or is that an item? I think, I'm gonna call that a buff. I think that's a buff. It's probably a buff. Yeah, and then an Amumu. Oh, it looks like it might be like a, bu a total buff for the team. Maybe you can pick one. Oh! Above, as I see, it's a similar symbol up there on the left near his coffers. Near his coffers? Yeah, see, at the top right there, along those gold lines, there's yeah. the health symbol, the, the person with a shield above them, then that like golden emblem, the black and gold right there. Maybe you do need glasses. Yeah, I think I need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nonetheless. I think that's one of the abilities he chose here, was to grant that person down there, that buff. Now, what is he building? Arcanist, Heavenly, Porcelain, and Warden. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, Porcelain comes from the Abumu and uh, the Lux. Arcanist probably coming from Ari and the Nico. And... Uh... Maybe the context? No, uh, oh yeah, in the locks. Duh. Heavenly, probably coming from Thresh and I would assume the Aatrox. And then Warden, probably the Aatrox and the Alali. Ooh, Tommy's in a very good spot right now. Look at this. Foxen, not even gonna be a bother to him. He loses one guy out of all of his team. Look I mean, that. hey, that's a, that's a pretty good survival rate. I would want to be on his team, if anywhere. Uh, he is in second place right now, only behind, who is that? Uh, it, it, please be my glasses. Oh, where? Uh, number one. Oh, that's gonna be Zack. Zack, okay, so Zack is number one. He's on a hot streak, too. Uh, Don't but... see Kira in this one. Kira isn't in this one? Oh, no. unfortunate. Okay, so wait, that means that the teams have been, like, redistributed, right? I think so. We're seeing some names here that we didn't see before. Alrighty, so that means... We have... I can read them all out. Foxen at the bottom. That's going to be Toes in second last. Aaron mm. Yogurt above him. Jin Curio, July, Are You Fro, Naku Taiken, and Zach at the top. Okay, I got a funny feeling somebody here plays Briar. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I had to make the joke. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, here he does seem to be opting for the winning streak strategy here. But that does mean that since the. Wait. Is he gonna lose this one? The Cho'Gath is very tanky. No. It's gonna be close. It's not gonna be as easy as the last one. Uh, I think he does win. Backline is pretty squishy. Maybe people will do this. Takes down one. Oh, that Zaya does damage, but doesn't get the recall in time. He's gonna win that one. Okay, I was saying something. You're talking about Briar. <laughs> no, no. But I, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> not that. Something else. Uh, 
After, after Briar. I'm gonna be honest, that like a <laughs> Briar just shot you to my, to my head, but uh, <laughs> either way, Tommy's in a decent position. Look at this like soul bond going here with Thresh and Yasuo. Yeah, what does that do? Is it like a? I think it's a buff from Thresh to Yasuo. Oh. Or maybe it's that fated. Maybe it's the the thread of fate itself bonding those Possibly. two. Possibly. I don't know what that does though. We're gonna see how it functions. Looks like they share shield game. Okay, that could be pretty strong. Yeah, I could see that. But oh yeah, I was talking about the fact that he was opting for that win streak. Uh, but that win streak can lead into some I'll say deficiencies in the later game. Uh, because you're kind of stuck with the comp you have. So he's gonna have to be very, very adaptive. And speaking of, uh, I think he might lose this one. That's yeah, looking to be one of the first losses we've seen from Akutaik in there. But that's gonna be two Zach, the number one player in the lobby currently. Okay, so if he loses to the number one, in that case it's fine. Because <laughs> you're not taking too many L's. And the Morgana is gonna be the one leading the roulette here. Uh, <laughs> there is a Morgana in the roulette, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, although that one. Is she being picked up? No, she is not. Um, It'd be great if she got offended that you don't take Morgana. Okay, you're not gonna take me. You. Me, the best one. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get rooted for th ten years. Uh, <laughs> enjoy. Oh, I had this time. A Yone dashed on me playing Morgana, and um, he dashed on me. That's that's literally the end of the story. He just dashed, and then he stopped. And, and then there was nothing, because, I mean, uh, that, that was back in the day when uh, Everfrost was still a thing. Because you would queue, so that's like, you know, a three second route. Mm -hmm. And he had no tenacity, so I had oh. fun. And then Everfrost, which is, what, like a second and a half route. And then uh, my ultimate, which is a stun. And another queue. <laughs> <laughs> and he died. Oh well. That was the story of Yone. <laughs> when he didn't get to use his dashes. Rip Bozo indeed, but be going over back to the game. Akutaken. Lost one. Is he planning to lose this one? He Can might he... go on a lose streak here. He's in second place. I don't know if he wants to take that L just yet. He's gonna go fighting hard, but... Yeah, I think he wins this one. Oh yeah, he does. He has the numbers. He's gonna try and get that win streak going once again. Hopefully not going up against Zack too soon. Yeah, if he goes up against Zack, that would screw him over pretty badly. Uh, but if he, as long as he doesn't go up against Zack, he should be able to hold it down pretty well. But of course, he needs to adapt his taunt to that later game once it comes around. So he's gonna need to adapt quickly. And what the... The hmm. more player... <laughs> Kobuko invites you to dance with him players join in the better the reward everybody's dancing in the middle there but i feel like some people didn't join no i think everybody did everybody wants a good reward oh, okay hold on hold on hold on last time right you were fishing with tom kench last time you were fishing with tom kench right it was a golden reward mm -hmm. this time it was three blues mm -hmm. maybe people weren't dancing too much Zach, maybe there isn't a party pooper in there. Yeah, maybe there was a party pooper. All right, who didn't fess up? Who didn't dance? <laughs> but I wonder, maybe that's a strat. You're like, I don't want to dance. I don't want to give my enemies too good of a reward. That is I'm true. I'm going to go down. Everybody's going to go down. Because at the end of the day, all those items that are going towards your opponent are going against you, and all you're getting is three items. Exactly. Right. So that's like, what? There's nine opponents. There well, nine players. Eight of them are... Wait. Dude. Cats okay, there's eight opponents. There's so no sorry, there's seven opponents. We're gonna get the right numbers eventually. Uh, and plus you, right? So seven times three. Uh, okay, seven times two is 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so there's 21 items going up against you, and three for you. So like to a certain extent, you could say that it goes against you to give them better items, in a way. I don't know, I'm trying to make sense of this Maybe by using is. math. And Why I'm... not dancing is a good position. Yeah. So good stance. Evil, don't I dance. Right? Why am I trying to explain things using math? God, this is exactly why I didn't study in math. Real statistician <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh. Here's why math mathematically. From a, from a from a astrophysicist like Gabriel right Ah uh, yes, astrophysicist, definitely. Let me just uh, fail that PhD real quick. 
I mean, hey, I need to learn to play Aphelios before I can do that. <laughs> Actually, never mind. You learn to play Aphelios after you do that. Learn to play Huey. Make Huey work. Okay, Huey isn't actually that bad. No, it's not. It's People literally... were worried. People were like, he's gonna be impossible. I was so scared because they both like aesthetically look similar. Because they're they both look espresso to espresso. But <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? But <laughs> at least Huey has like a straightforward kit, ish. Okay, yeah, not as straightforward as Garen, but like it's more straightforward than Aphelios. Aphelios, you need a PhD to play that. I, I tried playing it without a PhD. Uh, have I ever told you the story of when I went uh, 0-24? Ah, dude, I've heard many Well, that was the like story. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we're looking over at the game once again. Tommy on a little bit of a bad position here. Gonna get his loss up to two now. Yep. All right. Well, at least now he's getting bonus gold for that loss. Yeah, but he's so, been going. He's been winning, losing, winning, losing. He hasn't really built up a streak, unfortunately. No. But as long as you're like semi streaking, as long as you get like two in a row or three in a row, as as long as that's happening, you're getting some gold out of it. But if you're just teetering between win loss, win loss, win loss, you're just getting one bonus gold, so it's not worth it. Exactly. It's not the best position to be in right now. But yeah, he's so still in third place, he's got some room to move. Oh, speaking of they're, they're giggling moving. Here. Speaking of dancing, just saw Fortnite dance here. We're back in Fortnite. They're catching the train. And hey, they got the train. And they're they got the loot already. Wait, no, they're looting it right now. There's a cash on the train that you have to sit by, ride the train for a little bit as it starts to unlock. As you see, that diamond shape is being filled up. But once it is full you'll find yourself a nice pile of blue loot. Of blue loot? It's not great, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you know what that sounds like? That sounds like the train when um, World's Edge came out in Apex. Everybody went for the train, and everybody was disappointed by the loot, but they still went there. Make the train good. They should make the trains the best thing in the game. I want everybody landed on this train. I was the person that was not landing on the train for health and safety reasons. Shame, shame on you. Shame on you. You need to ride the train. Trains, best mode of transport. Bar but like, none. there's a limited amount of loot on a train. You can't just have the entire lobby land on the train and expect to have loot. Let's have a battle royale where the entire game is set on a train. Okay, now that I could get behind. That's, that's my idea. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. The Wild West. Like, let's let's think this one out though. Like, I I like the idea. But like, there's just one problem. A train is a straight line, right? So you're gonna loop. <laughs> Circle train. Well, then what's the purpose of your train? Uh. Okay. Okay. Never mind. We don't have time. The game's done. We're here fighting it out. <laughs> we'll talk our ideas later. But once again, they're fighting and going for the high ground and spraying down from above, trying to break through this fort. But the building too strong. Is that a? Wait, it's what a, gun is that? Is that a vector? That is a vector. That's a burst uh, submachine gun. Oh, well, I mean, uh, technically speaking, <laughs> sorry, actually, <laughs> a vector can go all uh, all three firing modes. Oh, but there it is. It's doesn't seem like it's Fortnite. Doesn't seem like a good position for these Fortniteers to be Whoa. in right now. As gets the takedown, but just barely. Oh he has two God. HP. <laughs> he, need, he needs meds. He's got minis, and they got the the, the, the thingy. You know what I mean when I say They have thingy. some heals. They got some heals. I know what you're talking about. They yeah. have any everything they need to get back up to full, but it's still going to be a scary situation to be in. You're up in the air. You're surrounded by all angles. You just have to hope. Your enemy lose, it loses interest, much like a bear attack. You have to lie down, play dead, and hope these monsters leave you alone. Wait, hold on. Lie down and play dead? Isn't it like look at the bear and slowly walk away? That is black bears. Oh! Brown bears. Uh, it's brown, laid down. Uh, black bears, you fight back. Oh! See, this is why I don't go out in the wild. I would be dead. Um, it's because you can't win a fight with a brown bear. They're, they're very scary. If you see a brown bear, uh, try and get away, but if it wants to attack you, you're kind uh, of good luck. Yeah. If you've seen the movie Revenant, uh, that's it. Anyways, moving on from bears, we're going to take a look at. TFT once again as Fortnite 
We just saw a battle here. Seeing a battle here in TFT. Tommy falling from grace right now. Falling yeah. down the ladder. I mean, the economy's tanked. There's nothing left. This isn't a good position to be in. We have a nice double screen here. If you want to watch either of these streams on their own, you can get some marks if you really want to. But you'd be missing out on our lovely commentary. You wouldn't want to miss that for the world, would you? Oh, I just remembered how Fortnite zip lines work. With the magnet holding you. Yeah. There are so many things where physics would not function with that, but... A real scientist today. Physics, it's, mathematics, and you're like, I wouldn't be good at that it's at all. It's funny, <laughs> because I love science, but I am terrible at science. Like, the science, it's like history, right? History as a hobby is great. History oh. as a subject is horrible. And Tommy's looking to maybe be history right here, unless he can win this fight, or at least equalize it a little bit. He's on his last legs, and it's not looking like this fight is going his way. He's going to be taken down. He's down to one, a 4v1. Is this enough to take him down? No! He lives with 2 HP. Took enough champs down. I mean, you know what? That's worth it. That uh, is worth it. As long as you stay alive, you're you got another you got the chance to fight another day. You could maybe even go up to third here potentially. That's not a bad placing at all. Currently I mean, in fourth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I th I think third uh, third is a feasible goal. Third is a feasible goal. If you set that as your goal, I'm sure you can make it. Um, as long as he doesn't get set up against Zach, I think he might be able to do it. If he's going up against. I think the person that's right above him, he has a good chance of making yeah. it to third place. Maybe that Elder gives something good. He is back up to 10, so he does have some economy working for him. Uh, oh, he's probably going to start uh, spending that. But here, what is what item does he opt for? Ooh, the Jack Show. Okay. Interesting, interesting. And we have a fight here in Fortnite. We've got the comment on that and the chaos of TFT. I think he just took somebody down, unless that was an NPC. Uh, now they're continuing to move on ever forward. Tommy spends every dime he has for one last shot. Let's take a look at this. All right, that is not looking good. Uh, those are very tanky boys right there. Oh, and I think that was a lot. Free. Oh no, he ended stream early. He forgot about the three minute delay. He forgore. He forgore. He turned no, off. No, he didn't forget about it. He discarded it. <laughs> Because I, I know this because when you open OBS, right? When you when you end stream, there's end stream and delay, or end stream discard delay. He clicked on discard delay. It happens. We know how that one turned out. I mean, I do it myself sometimes. He it's most a... likely lost. Unfortunately, that's gonna be all we had for TFT today. But hey, we have this one last Fortnite match to give us so much more action. But but isn't there one game that has three? Is it Fortnite or is, was it, it TFT? Fortnite. You would have ended stream if there was another TFT game. We're on our third game of Fortnite here. Right. Wait, we're on our third game or second game? Third. We saw the first. Uh, they ended early around 23rd. Second, they placed second place. Now we're here. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. This am, is, I, am I seriously we just 18? I f uh, am I getting dementia or something? Oh, oh God. You loaded the wrong save, maybe. Oh no, hold on, let me open the menu. <laughs> <laughs> but enough of that, we're here, live in the present. We're in the third game and they go into the underworld. Ooh, spooky, uh, not really spooky, it's a little bit too, I don't know. It's not the underworld stuff, it's the underworld it, rendered up to Fortnite. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's kind of flashy, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Then it's again, aesthetic. I don't know, I mean, personally, if you're gonna make an underworld, I'd be more like Doom. Type underworld. Well, this isn't the typical, uh, you know, negative afterlife that you, that you think of, because in Greek mythology, everybody goes to the underworld when they die. There's three layers. Oh. This layer, everybody evil goes to Tartarus. Mid people go to Asphodel, and the heroes, the great, the best of the best, go to Elysium. But it looks like they're gonna send these people all the way down to Tartarus as they move in. As Look at that. Wait, so it's basically a sandwich of good people and bad people and the meh people in the middle. Yep. Most people go to mid place. So everybody is tomatoes. I do. <laughs> uh, okay, your sandwich analogy. It took me a minute there to get what you were saying. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> my brain sometimes is some of the most incomprehensible things you can possibly fathom. So when you dip into the river sticks here, you get this a nice little dash, but it's limited unlike holding a medallion. It does not read your um, Okay, so it's like temporary service. S -s 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 yes. Dougie. Temporary Cerberus medallion. Yeah, Cerberus, there you go. Uh, uh, words are hard. Words are hard, but so is aiming in Fortnite as they've lost track of their enemy here. Wait, is that just a black screen? Where? There! That? Oh yeah, that's the new movie area for when they play movies in the events. Oh, well, they have like a full-on area for this now? Do you not know this? They've had this since like two years ago. They've been playing for, uh, movies, music videos, trailers, all here in the great game of Fortnite. Yeah, no, I haven't played, uh, I wasn't I playing two years BTS ago. Yes, perform here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear, I'm so out of touch for Fortnite. It is insane. It's insane. It's it's fun. You just have to kind of accept the chaos, the craziness that is Fortnite. I mean, I'm hard. sure physics don't function here. Except for fall damage. Fall damage makes sense. That's it. Other than that, physics don't make Look sense. Look at that. Nice, uh, nice portal. That's a wormhole. That's a physics concept right there. We open it up, bring in an entire island. Space time pulled it itself. They're gonna take down this structure. Oh, probably go. Gonna try and take down some enemies as well as they're moving up. Getting the high ground once again. Raining down fire from above. Doesn't quite find its mark. He's doing very nice evasive maneuvers right now. I think we're just gonna try and get out reposition for this island rather than bother with that slithery uh, snake right there. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you want the better loot as much as possible because that will get you a little bit further. If this was Apex, I'd say he wants to charge up his shield in the future and should have stayed in the fight, but of course it's not Apex. So here he wants to stay and kind of just not take that fight, go somewhere where there's loot. Because if you can have loot, you're better off, right? Um, that extra damage is always nice to have. Although here he isn't... They're not going on it. He's waiting for his teammate here. Oh. There are people on here and he wants to take the fight. Misses the snipe by a hair of a second. And now he's going to move over and try and break through these forts once again. But they just don't have the firepower. They only have one gold gun. It's really not that great taking down these people you're gonna need something a little bit more explosive maybe some stickies and his teammate goes down and now we're just down to tayo that's not the position you want to be in when there's multiple enemies at your doorstep yeah this is the time where you uh, apply the strategy that i almost always apply in uh, tarkov a rat yeah. eat cheese and rat because i mean I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest being a rat is very very efficient uh you don't fight much many people but you get placement Hey, fair enough. That's what they're playing for right now. But I think he wants to get his teammate back. There is a reboot ban up here, but he misses the oh! shot. He gets headshot by a green sniper. And that is going to be all she wrote for Fortnite. What fun we've had. That Fortnite. was a clean headshot. Holy clean smoke. Headshot. I, I'm not even, like, I, I'm just purely surprised. What is that background? That's anime. That's, isn't that, like, Gundam? It's not. It's something. It's It's... It's like a mix of the two. Well, I mean, it's to be fair, Gundam is anime, technically. <laughs> it's an anime <laughs> skin they made explicitly for Fortnite. It's no collaboration, oh. but just some fair enough. they made. Very nice. <laughs> but speaking of a nice things, we had a nice old day here on the broadcast. For sure. Let's do a little bit of a review. We placed, I think, 23rd in Fortnite, got a few kills. Second in Fortnite. That, that one was good. Was it very good? And then we just saw here, I think it was 17th placement, so a little bit better. Very varied, but not... All top 50 wins? Exactly. We'll take exactly. those. We'll we'll take top them. 50s or top 50s? For me, top 50s a win. I mean, top exactly. 50 first exactly. place, there's only like, what, 49 different? It's, Fair it's, it's the same Fair thing. Enough. Fair enough. And then we're going to look over again at TFT. Kira, second place, I believe, game one. Yep. Tommy got fourth, I think. He was in the middling area there. Got taken down yeah, a little give bit or take, early, I Fourth think. or fifth. And then it was a little bit of a lobby change up. Kira wasn't there in the second. We don't know how Kira placed. But we know Nakutaiken there placed fourth, I think, again. It was yeah, fourth. He yeah, he pulled the gym. So both okay games. Uh, for decent TFD. games, yeah. yeah. Good performances I, 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 it's from it's the all right points. Especially for a new set. It's hard to figure all that out. I know it's hard to find out the figure out the meta right there in the middle of it. So they did creative. a good job at adapting. Yeah, and I mean the League of Legends game was an FF, so side no league.
I mean, to be fair, I was making so many references, there might as well have been. Fair enough. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh, man. But I have a problem. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. But with all that being said, we are going to wrap things up here. And unfortunately, we're not going to have any other streams this week. So Oh, wow. That's going to be it for now. We'll have more Yikes. coming next week, probably on Monday. So well, stay nice. tuned for that. You can follow our socials if you want to stay up to date on everything Saints related. Follow our Instagram, Twitter, X, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. You know it. Stay up to date on the latest events and streams. And with all that being said, now we're going to go through the thanking portion. Thank you to our sponsors, HyperX, Subway, Tim Hortons, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And thanks to the people in the back as well. That's going to be Daniil, Amanda, Mr. Danners, and thank you for commentating up well, thank you for having me, me. Exactly. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> i'm so, not exactly in the back but yeah, yeah exactly. well you're up here at the front anyways well, everybody well, who helped mean, this it's thing the run. back of the desk the back of the we're, desk. right we're behind the desk but, anyways moving back to the front thank you everybody for watching we'll be back with the more streams very soon have a good night everybody